Over the past couple of weeks, we learned quite a bit about Disney and the relationship that they had with JD and the Pirates franchise. And I think it's kind of messed up what Disney is doing here. And a lot of fans seem to agree as they've started to call out Disney for what they're doing. What am I referring to? Well, the other day, this popped up on social media. Now, what you're looking at right here is, of course, the Disney castle. It's, I think, Cinderella's castle. And they're lighting it up with some kind of a light show. Now, I have to turn the music off for copyright reasons. But I want to show you what's going on here. So watch this. You see a, a coin here, an Aztec coin. Boom. We go into Pirates of the Caribbean music. And there's Johnny's face. Now, look at that. This is recent. This is recent. What they're doing here is a show, and, and they use his voice, too, when he was yelling for everyone to fight on on the ship. Looks like this is from World's End. And I'll show you why. This scene isn't, but the ships are. But the fact that they used him recently like this is kind of messed up after what they did to him. So let's go through this. And then, boom, there's some cannons. And right now, the Pirates of the Caribbean main theme is playing, which is why I can't play the music. But you see ships here. And there is indeed a moment where they use JD's voice during this ship fight. Now, that's kind of messed up considering how they fired him and kind of made a big stink about it. But now that he's won his case, right, it's okay to go ahead and use his his face and use his voice and use him as a big... There he is again right there. There's, there's JD again right there. You see what they're doing? It's okay to use his voice now that he's won, right? It's okay now. Now it's okay. It's, it's, it's messed up. It's kind of like he said during the trial. Oh, they're okay to still use my face and sell my merchandise, but they won't have me in the movies. Really messed up. So this is apparently was just from a few days ago. It was from tonight, the poster said, on June 18th, not that long ago. So, you know, how often are they going to do this over the summer? Here's one from June 19th. Well, that's probably the same one, to be honest. I, they probably just, yeah, it just... Re, uh, retweeted that. My bad. So that's a recent thing. But people are calling it out. Like this. Look, listen to these tweets right here. Since hashtag JD1 Disney needs to publicly apologize. Wrote, read one tweet. Another added at Disney. A public apology would be better. Another tweeted. How are you using this man's name but refuse to apologize to him? An Instagram comment read. This makes me emotional, but they have to stop exploiting his image considering how they treated him. Say it's not clear if JD's likeness is a recent addition to the light show or if he has always been included in it. Newsweek has contacted Disney for content. So, you know, people are bringing up a really good point here. It's, it's hypocritical. They should apologize to him. Disney should apologize to him. I think a public apology would go a long way with him and with fans. I don't think they're going to do that, though. They're definitely not going to because they don't want to upset the AH crowd. <laughs> you know, all 15 people of it. I just, I, I do agree. This is very hypocritical to use his face like that considering what they did. And it's funny. Now, all of a sudden, they're using this light show with him in it. After everything that went down, it is hypocritical. Here's some other stuff that's going on right now. That's not new news, but it's being pushed like it is. That's that A.H. is apparently the most beautiful woman in the world, claims uh, several science outlets. This is actually not news. Uh, what this is, like most celebrities have really good facial symmetry, which humans do find very attractive. A.H. was a very, very attractive woman. She still looks really good, 
But compared to a few years ago, she that's where she was kind of peaking. I'm not saying I would be lying if I said she wasn't a beautiful woman, but uh, this isn't new news. So the reason that this is making headlines like it is right now is because of her PR team. That's my opinion, because I want to show you something. So this is from June 20th, right? And there's newer ones. This is a couple. There's a lot of outlets reporting on this. That's her PR team at work because everything with her is calculated and done right. So they're trying to remind, oh, we'll put it in your head, let you know that she's considered so beautiful. Uh, she's ranked right above Kim Kardashian. I want to show you. Here's an older one. This is from uh, 2020, and there's older ones than this. Her face has actually been included in these quite a bit. But look who else is in here. James Franco is in here. Brad Pitt. For some reason, Lena Dunham. I highly disagree with this one. Uh, Miley Cyrus, David Gandy, Chris Hemsworth is in here. Bradley Cooper, Justin Bieber, Zac Efron, Natalie Portman. And then there's A.H., Kim Kardashian, and so on. Scarlett Johansson, Kate Moss, right? Kendall Jenner. People that look really good, right? They're celebrities. That's that's why they're celebrities, because they look good. I mean, this isn't groundbreaking news, right? Are you shocked that celebrities fit scores that show that people find them attractive? Right? It's not really big news, but it's being pushed. Some people are saying, like it says here, world's most beautiful woman, which I disagree with. And they're, but they're doing whatever they do to to make these scores. Maybe she does have a very desirable face on a, on a scale. But my point is that this has been something that's been in articles for years. I just showed you one from 2020, right? The reason it's news now is because her PR team is looking for whatever the hell they can to make her look better. As meaningless as it is, this is still a good headline to push around. And it doesn't even have anything to do with JD in it. So it, it's a good distraction piece for her. Another good place, if you're looking for some distractions, is Locals. So if you don't know what Locals is, it's kind of like our own Twitter community, except we're not on Twitter, which is great. It's free. You can come over here. I'll have links to all my videos over here. As you can see, I've got the ones from yesterday on here. I also talk about some other stuff. We're allowed to talk about things over on this platform that we're not allowed to talk about on Twitter, and I like that. It's also a good place to support me. A lot of you don't want to give YouTube any money, and I do understand that. So I have opened up this Locals as a way to help with that as well. So I'm not going to do Patreon. I'm not doing Subscribestar. I think Locals works well for this. Uh, we can have our own community over here and if you want to help and support you can do that and you give no money to youtube so that is an option so definitely check that out as you can see there's already some great creators over there and they all have their own little communities too it's it's really cool i like i like what they're doing over here on locals and i'm happy to be over here finally so anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. What do you think about the Disney hypocrisy? I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.